When you turned Ben into a frog, abracazobadoo. You should not have turned him into a bird. Zabadi zee. And certainly not into a rabbit. Abracazabadi. No. At the start, you should have made him Ben again. Abracazobadi zabadi zee. Hooray! For you. I'm glad that's over. You see, girls? It's easy. Anyone can do it. OK. Can I have another go? No. If anyone can do it, I want to go. Oh, all right. Holly, give Ben your wand. But, but, elves don't do magic. I'd like to give magic a go, just this once. That's the spirit, Ben. Uh, into frogs, abracazobody. Phew. For a moment, I thought Ben was going to turn us into frogs. Abracazobody? Ugh, <laughs> 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 oh, it's no good. Elves don't do magic. Hmm, maybe you just need a teeny tiny bit of magical help. Tricky trick trick. This young elf do magic. There. Have another go, Ben. Into frogs. Abracazobody. Hey, it worked. <laughs> Into birds, zabadi zee, and into rabbits, abraca zabadi. There, all finished. Very good, Ben. But haven't you forgotten something? Uh, what? You need to turn them back into girls again. Do I? Oh, okay then. Abraca zabadi zabadi zee. But the tide will be coming in soon and... Please, Mr Elf, please can we stay a bit? Just a little bit, then. We'll pack the car, but you must come when we call you. Yes, Mum! We promise! Oh, look! The sea is coming closer. That's great! Soon the castle will have a moat. Oh! Holly almost left her wand behind. Talking of Holly, let's fetch the children. I don't want to go home. I want to stay in our castle forever and ever. Oh, goodness. Look how high the sea is. Ben, Polly, leave the castle now. We can't leave. The sea's too high. Polly, you can fly to the shore. OK. No, it's too windy to fly. Uh, Polly, maybe it's time to do a little... Magic. Yes, I'll just wave my wand and... Oh, where's my wand? Here's your wand, Holly. I can throw it to you. But what if it falls in the sea? Don't worry, Holly. Mrs Elf is very good at throwing things. And I'm great at catching. <laughs> OK. Don't worry, wand. Ben will catch you. Ready, Ben? Yes, Ben. One, two, three, roll! <laughs> Hooray! Thanks, Ben. Now for the magicking bit. Sun, sea and sand. Put Ben and me on dry land. <laughs> Hooray! Well done. Rinky dinky do, rinky diddly dee, dooby dooby doo, dibbly dibbly dee. Rinky dinky oh! do. Stop! Would you like me to stop? Yes! And please go! Would you like me to go? Yes! Goodbye! <laughs> oh, sleep well. See you in the morning. Mr. Gnome is funny. He is silly. Yes, really silly. <laughs> Good night, everyone. Good, Good night. night. <gasps> it's the gnome. He's come back to eat our breakfast. <laughs> oh, a mole. <laughs> Shoo! Shoo! Go 
Oh, way mole! <laughs> Princess Holly, do you know a magic spell to get rid of moles? I'm sorry, Mr Elf. I don't. Oh, dear. Think, Mr Elf. What gets rid of moles? Hello? Yes, moles don't like us gnomes. No idea why. Ah, uh, thank you, Mr Gnome, for uh, saving our campsite from the mole. That's all right. What's for breakfast? The mole ate all the food. Oh, dear. Good morning. Nanny Plum! How was your night? It was very strange. Mr Gnome turned up and he loves oranges. And Mr Gnome sang a funny song called Rinky Dinky Doo. Then a mole came along and ate our washing line and all our food. And now we haven't any breakfast. Yes, I thought that might happen. Hi, Holly. That was the last delivery. Now we can play. You might have finished, Ben, but I'm still working. Holly, it's time for your speech. Hello. You all look very nice and I hope you have fun dancing today. Uh... Jolly good show. Jolly good show. <laughs> what happens now? Now comes the hard bit. We have to sit still and not fall asleep. In honour of your majesty, we will now do a dance. How awful. Good. Very good. Come on, Daddy. Let's dance. What? But I... Oh, all right. Could you play something a little bit more modern? Righto. You're right, Holly. King's work is fun. Oh, why has Gaston stopped? He's looking up into the sky. So that's where your wand has gone. How? Um, can your wand fly? My wand is magic, but I don't think it can fly. Well, it's up there somewhere. If only it could talk to us and tell us where it is. That's easy. It can't talk, but it can make a sort of tinkly sound. Great! Could you call to it? OK. Wand! I oh, wand! That's my wand! It's coming from up there! It's a jackdaw! And it's got my wand! Jackdaws like shiny things! It's very high up! And I'm not allowed to fly high! No problem! I'll climb up! Be careful, Ben! Don't worry, Holly! Elves are very good at climbing, and I'm an elf. <coughs> nice birdie. Can we have our wand back, please? <coughs> you, that was lucky. Wow, Ben. Tricking the jackdaw to open its mouth. I would never have thought of that. Uh, yes. Elves are very good at that sort of thing. <laughs> ah, ah. We should go before the jackdaw works out what to do next. OK. Giddy up, Gaston! Giddy up! Giddy up! Oh. Gaston! Ah. 
As I said, ladybirds are never happy. <laughs> Gaston, what's wrong? <laughs> oh, dear. Nanny, what did he say? He said he loved his home just as it was. All messy and smelly. Oh, sorry, Gaston. Don't worry. We'll make it just the way you like it. Yes. <laughs> We're very good at making things messy. <laughs> this is fun. Key, a cobweb here, a cobweb there. Brilliant! Sit up, Zessie. Gaston's bed, nice and messy. Smelly <laughs> socks and lollipops. <laughs> Good. Now just a final layer of dirt and we're done. Well done, everybody. That smells just as bad as it did before. Hooray! And if you ever want us to make your cave untidy again, Gaston, don't be afraid to ask. Yes, that's what friends are for. <laughs> Come on, let's play. Hey, wait for us. <laughs> Come on, Gaston. Giddy up, giddy up. <laughs> Yee-haw! Can't catch me! Yes, we can! <laughs> it's a terrible signal. Wise old elf? Nanny Plum, don't you know what time it is? I didn't call to ask you the time. We're in a big house and the window's closed. I need some elves to rescue us. I see. How many elves do you need? All of them. We came in through the window, but now it's shut. There, it's open. Thanks, Lucy. It was nice meeting you, Lucy, but we weren't supposed to wake you. It's OK. I'll pretend to be asleep. Bye-bye. <laughs> hmm. I see you woke the little girl up. We didn't mean to, Nanny. Oh, it's OK. They always wake up. Elves to the rescue! Elves to the rescue! Now, where's this window that needs opening? You just came through it. But that's an open window. Yes, we've done it ourselves. We don't need you anymore. Sorry. Sorry? You've just dragged every elf in the kingdom from their beds. Shush! Can you be quiet? Of course I can. Elves are very good at being quiet. And we're, we're elves! No! <laughs> this is why elves can't be tooth fairies. You're too noisy. Are you all right, Lucy? We heard a noise. It's OK. She's asleep. You can come out now. Phew! Bye, Bye, Lucy. See, See you, you again. again. Bye, Ben and Holly. No, thank you, Nanny Plum. We've had quite enough of fairy magic. Now it's time for some elf skill. What's your plan, wise old elf? We simply lasso the sails and stop the windmill. Take hold of this rope, elves. Right oh! Are you sure this is a good idea? We know what we're doing. Stand back, everyone. He's got it! Hooray! Well done, wise old elf. Told you it would work. Ah! <gasps> I hope they're OK. Ah! Elves are never happy. Maybe you can stop the spell now, Nanny Plum. What did he say? Stop the wind. Oh, OK. All winds, away you go. Wise old elf, are you all right? Oh, 
Of course I'm all right. I'm an elf. <laughs> I'll just get my bag of flour. Nanny Plum, I strongly advise you not to open that door. Oh, stop fussing. <laughs> I think they're trying to fly. But they can't fly. I can teach them. Fairies are good at flying. And I'm a fairy. <laughs> OK, baby birds, just copy me. Flying is easy peasy. Oh, they're not copying me. Maybe we should start with something simpler. How did you learn to fly? I've been flying since I was a baby. I can't remember my first flying lesson. Hmm. Let's begin with flapping. Like this. <laughs> they're copying you, Ben. Now flap. Faster. Now jump. They're flying. Clever, Ben. You taught them to fly even though you can't fly yourself. <laughs> bye bye, bye, birds. There they go. Goodbye, little ones. Oh, don't say you miss them now. No, I've just got something in my eye. Have the chicks hatched yet? I want to tick them off in my book. They've flown away, Daddy. I taught them how to fly. Oh, baby woodpecker chicks are a once-in-a-lifetime sight for a bird spotter. But you missed them. It's not fair. Now I'm not going to spot anything good. <whistles> Hello? King Thistle, we've got a strange nest in the castle. A nest? I'll be there straight away. Zigzag Zog, make me into a frog. Wow! <laughs> a common frog. Look how slimy it is. <laughs> and how smelly it is. And how silly it sounds. Well, that brings today's nature class to a most satisfactory close. Uh, uh, Nanny Plum, you can turn yourself back now. I don't think Nanny Plum can turn herself back again. She can't pick up her wand. Oh, what a shame. Now, for your homework... But Nanny Plum... We can't leave her as a frog. Oh, can't we? Oh, I suppose not. Uh, which fairy wants to turn her back again? Me, me, me! All right. Holly, do your best. Um, I'm not sure what spell to use. I'm sure Nanny Plum would want you to just have a go anyway. OK, I'll try this. Abracazari! Um, frog to fairy. Oh, it works. Oh, thank you, Holly. Oops. Sorry, Nanny. You did very well, Holly. But you shook your wand a bit too hard. Abracazari, frog to fairy. Hooray! You see, children, it's all in the wand control. Wise old elf, maybe you should get out from under the cow. If only I could take a closer look. Oh. <gasps> oh, dear. It's raining and I haven't got my umbrella. What about the wise old elf? Oh. He's under a cow. At least he's dry under there. Oh. Oh. Lucy... Could you get Bessie to stand up, please? I'm sorry. Cows never get up when it's raining. Uh, Daddy Plum, you may now use magic if you wish. 
I didn't think you liked magic. Just get me out. If you're sure. I'm sure. Abracazow, up you get cow. <coughs> now, what was I saying? The last thing you said was... Ugh. That's the sound you made when the cow sat on you. Ugh. Thank you, Strawberry. Oh, no! It's a thunderstorm. Everyone back on the bus. Lucy, you'd better go indoors. But I can't. I have to get all the animals into the barn first. Rex can help. But what about Bessie and the chickens? Maybe I could try magicking them into the barn. Oh, no. It's too wet for my wand to work. It is working. Look. It's not magic, it's Gaston. He's copying Rex the sheepdog. There's something funny going on around here. Wise old elf, what do we do next? A good question, Holly. Next, we wind the toys up. Don't worry. I'll just give it a little help. <coughs> <coughs> Nanny Plum, have you been doing magic? Just a teeny tiny little bit to help things along. You are a very naughty fairy. Sorry, wise old elf. <laughs> <laughs> we'll say no more about it. Now, Holly. Let's see what your owl can do. Oh, uh, it doesn't work at all. Hmm, maybe too much magic went into its making. I can fix it. I'm very good at mending things. Should do it. Every elf has their bit to paint. One paints the eyes, another the mouth, and another the hair. Amazing! I thought it would be all done by machine. No. We do it all by hand. It looks such hard work. Elves like hard work. And we're elves! Well, thank goodness I'm a fairy. Shush, Nanny. Once the dress is painted, the doll goes through to the dryer. And then it's packed, ready for delivery. And here we are, the finished doll. A perfect example of elf workmanship. Isn't the doll's dress supposed to be red? What? Oh, oh, you're quite right, Princess Holly. Oh, never mind. Some mistakes occur when you're making so many dolls. But they've all got blue dresses. Oh, she's right. We'll have to unpack them all and paint them again. But there's not enough time. I could sort this out in a moment with a bit of magic. Magic is not allowed in the elf factory. OK. I'll just ring up Father Christmas and tell him what's happened. <gasps> I'm sure he'll understand. No, no. Don't ring Father Christmas. Uh, maybe Nanny Plum can use a bit of magic just this once. Good. First, I need my wand. <laughs> Oh, 
Ah, hello, wand. Ahem. Blue to red. Hooray! It worked! Maybe she's not in the meadow at all. <laughs> it's no good. Holly's hidden too well. I'll never find her. <laughs> Found you! Oh, how did you find me? I'm invisible. Oh, I'm not invisible. The magic's worn off. Magic? Oh, um, I was just using a teeny bit of magic. Hmm. Anyway, let's play a different game. I promise not to use flying or magic. OK, let's play a game of... Ben! Holly! Children! The cupcakes are ready! Oh, Mrs Elf, do we have to come in? Can we just play one more game? Well, I never. I thought a certain fairy princess and a certain elf found playing games boring. But, Mum! We've hardly been playing any time at all. And you said the cakes would take ages. <laughs> the cakes have taken ages. Have they? The time's whizzed by because you were enjoying yourselves. Time does that. Oh. Would you like a cupcake each? Yes, please. Mmm. Delicious. Mmm. Yummy. These cakes are the best. And Mrs Elf didn't even use any magic. <laughs> Thank you, Holly. I think it was your stirring that made all the difference. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to see a trick? OK. <laughs> I can make this cake disappear. How? I thought elves didn't do magic. Watch carefully. <laughs> Daisy and Poppy, I'm sure you didn't mean to... Meow! <laughs> Fuzzy Wuzzy, Fuzzy Wuzzy. Phew, do you think that's it? Yes, luckily birds can't hold wands. Ah, <laughs> oh, Barnaby and Ben, have you seen the girls? The kittens are Holly and Fleur. And the birds are the twins. What? Uh, Daisy and Poppy have been doing a bit of magicking. I see. And who are all the rabbits? They're the elves. Right. We've got a lot of tidying up to do. Runaway kittens, come back fairies. Hop away bunnies, come back elves. Fly away birdies, come back twins. Holly, you were supposed to be looking after your little sisters. But Nanny, the twins are impossible. They are a bit of a handful. Well, I suppose no harm was done. No harm done? They turned us all into rabbits. I know. I'm most impressed. <laughs> but, but... The little darlings are getting really good at magic. Foggy, foggy. I think I'll take those ones. We won't be needing any more magic today. But Nanny Plum, we can't just leave her as a frog. Can't we? No, I suppose not. All right, Holly. Magic her back again. Hop away, frog. Come back, Nanny. <laughs> 